Hello everyone and welcome to episode number 13 of my Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. I'm Adam and today we're going to go through Rock Tunnel. So, let's go. I'm planning to do the two videos today. That is this video and the next one. And that's because um, I'm going to be uploading these on the same day and they'll be released on the same day. But... There we are, we got Flash, so we don't need to worry about not being able to see. And we got 20 repels to just walk through Rock Tunnel. Okay. Now, I do have absolutely no idea where I'm going, so <laughs> please bear with me. That's the right way though, obviously. Okay, these are super nerds, I believe. Pokemaniacs, okay. Cubone. Oh, right. Okay. That's a high level. Okay, high levels. A bit scary. Let's go to Puppy. That way it can protect me from ground type attacks, and I do have a water type attack to counter it. More spells. That will finish it off, hopefully. Yep, yeah, okay. That's good. Okay, next Pokemon will be Slowpoke. Okay. Well, we'll just... actually, we'll stay in with Puppy and just go with Bite. Okay. A few of my friends that know me personally that have that are watching this Nuzlocke, they're asking me what plans I have for some of the gyms. Um, and I'm happy to share my plans for each gym with, um, you guys. So with, um, Erica's gym, which is a grass type, I think we have a fairly solid choice. I do not know what makes me think, um, I can beat Erica's gym so easily. But, um, I think I have a very solid, uh, plan. I do not know what it says though. Um, with Koga's gym, my plan is to actually train Paul up, as uh, Paul can be useful. Um, hold on, we're just going to get our rock tunnel encounter. A Geodude. Okay, yeah. I didn't know if that's duplicate claws or not. <laughs> okay, and we're going to swap out into... Hmm. Let's go to Puppy. So the plan for um, Koga will be training up Paul and using Paul and um, no, that doesn't affect me. So yeah, okay. I'll be using Paul and um, Coron to oh, just barely. Okay, super perfection move. Yeah, I'll be using Paul and um, Koron to beat Koga. For Sabrina, my plan actually lies with um, the gift to Lapras I get given, as well as Puppy and Paul, along with um, the help of maybe Hawkeye. Uh, for Geodude, I'm just going to call you uh, Rock. Named after the beast himself, Rock. And it's a good thing we caught Rock because um, Rock I will also use again, use with for Koga and um, Sabrina. For Blaine, um, if I still have them, I'll be using the Gift Lapras and uh, Puppy, as well as um, Rock, as I just caught him, and a few other Pokemon that are super effective against. Um, fire types. And for Giovanni, my um, plan for that one lies with a simple case of um, <laughs> using Puppy and the Gift Lapras as well as a few other Pokemon Super Effective against the ground types. From the way it sounds like, yes I do have a um, 
Uh, I will have a team that's more than six Pokemon, which is recommended with um, which is recommended with Nuzlocke. So that way, it doesn't take too long to train them up. However, for a, a go-to team, the Pokemon that's in my party at the moment, apart from Mike, I would bring to the league. And um, that is pretty much my whole goal. Okay. Uh, there we are. Revive. Okay, well, I'm selling that as soon as I get out of Rock Tunnel. Okay, please have a Pokemon that Pup uh, Furno can take care of. Okay. Oddish. Yes, <laughs> a Pokemon that Furno can take care of. Right, have fun. Wow, you survived. Hmm. I wonder if that's a bad omen to the grass type gym. Uh, well, like I said, I got Ferno and pa and Hawkeye helping me out for grass type gym, along with um, Butcher and uh, Wendy and uh, Vespic, which I might need to bring back for that. Okay, and one more ember, we'll finish it off. Now, I am getting a bit more reckless throughout this Nuzlocke, I notice. Um, and that's because, um, uh, well, <laughs> it comes with a lot of things, because uh, I'm three badges in, haven't had a single death yet. And um, I'm getting a bit confident. Obviously, I know when to pace myself, and um, I will be, but uh, yeah. <sighs> Come on, you, take, you can take care of Charmander, can't you? But um, I will be going. I. Uh, as you can probably tell, I am showing a bit of arrogance at the moment, which uh, can lead to a downfall and a lesson which I would regret. I'm ho obviously I'm hoping it won't happen, and uh, if I am to lose Pokemon, that uh, I would rather Mike or Hawkeye to go down, because um, I won't need Flash after this, and if I need Cut, I can just teach another Pokemon Cut. Right, please excuse the fact that my dogs may bark because um, it fireworks keep going off. I'm recording this the day after Guy Fawkes night, so I don't see why fireworks go off, but hey, it's just where I live. Um, at least I don't live in a populated area, otherwise I would be de dealing with them on a regular basis. Hold on, uh, going up. Oh, two hikers, right. Okay, we'll do with it you first. And Ferno, uh... <laughs> I don't want to risk losing you. I need a solid switch in. So, um, I need a solid switch. So, I'm having Puppy out in front. Just a Judy? Okay. There we are. Intimidate. Lowers the attack. And we'll go with Water Pulse. Finish it off. Done. Okay, and, oh, okay, so either way I was going to go against a hiker, no item or anything, just, um, well, I'm going to go against this one anyway, just for the experience for Puppy. Because Puppy, I do not plan to bring into Erica's gym, and, uh, uh, whilst Puppy may be helpful, at the end of the day he is a water type. No, oh, sorry, she is a water type. Okay, so there's a Machop, so I'm going to swap out into Hawkeye, just to give him more experience. You'll notice there's going to be a very big gap in between um, the third gym leader and the fourth gym leader and that's because um, I'll be training up the Pokemon which I'd like to bring into the next gym and I'll be doing that a lot. Uh, 
However, as he's the leader of my team, I will be keeping Inferno in uh, for every gym. As he's the leader of my team, and as the leader of my team, he should not be out of my team. Okay, going to swap out into Puppy. Rock Snake versus Water Snake. Uh, round two this time. Uh, Missed the bind, that's good. Water Pulse, finish it off. Five levels higher, there's no way it's surviving. There we are. Okay. Okay, now we can go up that ladder and uh, where will that lead take us? Okay. Um, go down. Item? No. Another set of hikers. Of course. Yeah, what do you have? Free Pokemon, okay. Well, um, puppy? So, <laughs> uh, yeah. That'll be fine. Um, gonna go Water Pulse here. And the HP bar goes down. Woo! Okay, and you're gonna be level 26 now. That's good. Okay, another Onyx, that's fine, just another Water Pulse and they'll finish it off. Okay. And another and a Geodude, okay, well, another Water Pulse and I'll be down. Done. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that background noise, but my dad's in the room opposite mine, and um, I don't know if he understands the definition of uh, volume because I was trying to sleep for a rather early shift last night and I can hear that and I can hear what he's watching clear as day which um, obviously is annoying and even if I do tell him to turn it down he would just he would just be the normal <laughs> the normal volume it's going to be the day after um, so really I just need to try and get used to it um, but yeah, another hiker with four Pokemon this time. If they're all rock types, then Puppy's gonna have a field day. And might be level 27 by then. Um, okay. Okay, there's one down. Okay, the second one. Just finish that one off. 12 minutes in, and I think we're just over halfway through Rock Tunnel. So I think we're making good progress, we can get to Lavender Town by the time I end this video, which is my goal. And then for the next one I will be, and then for the next video I will be making my way towards Celadon City. In which I will be uh, going into the Rocket Game Corner and doing that whole side plot uh, before I challenge the gyms. Ew. Okay, let's go to Hawkeye. This might be a bit risky here. Um, and with the whole rocket side plot, I will be dealing with um, the first encounter with Giovanni and a few other stuff. Ooh. Come on, you got to take care of this one. Come on. Okay. Okay, there we are. Hawkeye's still alive for now. Okay. Um, so we're going to heal up. But, uh, yeah, um, that's the plan for the second episode. Make my way towards Celadon City and make a start with the rocket, whole rocket stuff. Uh, for safety purposes, I'm going to be training, I'm going to be healing up my Pokemon. And I'm going to swap a quarter out with Puppy. So a quarter can get some experience as well. Uh, oh, okay, directly in front of him. I need to show him respect. Okay, I'll respect him by destroying his team. Dude, dude. Oh, it's Hiker Lucas. Hi, Lucas. You good? <laughs> Lucas, you're in the game again. Karate chop. No, I'm showing Lucas respects by one shot in his first Pokemon and gonna one shot his second one. <laughs> yeah, low kick. Yep. There we are. Is that enough respect, Lucas? Hmm. Yeah, the thing is, that Graveler 
could have been very, very scary because that could have had um, a self-destruct on it, which could have ended a quarter's life. Um, uh, okay, wrong way. That's good. <laughs> Best explore it and go the wrong way, then explore it and go the right way. Okay. Repel. And... I think a court I think of course is the a good Pokemon to lead against this Picnicker. Okay. Now well, there's how you survive getting lost. Jigglypuff. Okay, it was the right choice having a course right in front now. Karate chop. Okay. And the quarter is now level 26. Seismic Toss. Do I want to teach him that? I mean, the other moves are quite good, and it only does the amount of damage that's at my level. At the moment, it's worse than Dragon It's worse than Dragon Rage, so yes, I'm not even going to bother with it. Um, Pidgey. Rock Team, yeah. I was about to say... He can do a karate job on that, won't he? But <laughs> I just saw Rock Team and I was like, oh yeah, I can have that. <laughs> oh yeah, I have this. A quarter, okay, also another Meowth, yep, a quarter's got this. Yeah, a quarter didn't even need to worry there. Right, I'm going to swap a quarter right with Coron now. And Coron, I do plan on bringing into, um, yeah. Coron I do plan on bringing with me into the grass type gym. Whilst he, whilst the ground type is weak to grass, um, yes. Uh, oh, rock side. Um, hold on, I need to reread what he said. When you're up on the rocky mountain like this, rock sides are a threat. Can you imagine boulders tumbling down on you? That'd be like, wow, that total terror. You don't seem to be scared. Want to try using Rock Side? This move can be this move can be learned only once. Is that okay? Right. So the Pokemon I teach this. I can only teach this to one Pokemon and I can't teach any others. So if that's the case, I'm gonna teach to Coron. Because uh Ferno is a special attacker and hold on I'm actually gonna okay I'm gonna check Ferno's special no hold on okay we're gonna stop for now and we're gonna think about this because um if it's only once okay straight away a quarter's out of the question and that's because even though at the moment he is a permanent member of my team his nature is throwing me off as it lowers his attack and um, I'd rather not have a rock type move to deal with flying types against a Pokemon weak to flying. Um, now, I need to think about this for Coron or Ferno. Okay, Coron has the higher attack and rock side I'm confident is a physical move. Okay, so Dig and Brick Break and Thrash are definite moves that Coron's having. Hmm. Now, I might live to regret this decision soon in the future. But, this is a tough choice. Um. Okay, you're out of the question, I'm afraid, mate. Sorry, a quarter. Um, I plan... Oh, okay. Now, um, the thing is, I want Brick Break, Dig and Thrash on Coron. And Peck, whilst I can get rid of, I don't want to replace Rock Side with it. I don't want to replace it with Rock Side because I plan on getting a Poison type move for Coron as it'll be Stab. And if I do that, then that's a waste of rock slide because I can't. I don't want to get rid of the other moves. So 
I think I'm going to teach Ferno Rock Slide. And if that's the case, I'll get rid of Smoke Screen. So, it's a good thing I did take a step back to think about this, because, um... Uh, well, Rock Slide is a good move, and to waste it on the wrong Pokemon would be a very bad mistake. Um, I don't know what I was talking about when I before I got into this, but Rock Slide I do want on my move set, and Smoke Screen I will get rid of in a heartbeat. Okay, there we are. Counter for flying types now. It might be scary to use it in the, this tunnel. Don't worry, I won't use it. Well, I might, might not. Ooh. Um, there's the item I was looking for. Okay, uh, I knew there was going to be an item somewhere. Okay, you. Hmm. Hiker? Hmm, yeah, let's go. Yeah, Corrin's up in front, it'll be fine. Um, yeah, so what I was going on is that even though... Uh, Coron is weak to grass, no, ground is weak to grass, poison resists it and makes it neutral, which isn't ideal for me, like, I would rather it be not very effective, but, um, with Coron being as powerful as he is, um, if I can get a poison type move before I get, go to that gym, then <laughs> I'll be golden, um, the only thing I need to worry about is the fact that most grass types are also poison type. But that's not a major problem. So I should be fine. Um, obviously I'll use I'll be it'll be one of those things where I just use Coron in case of emergencies. And I probably should have just gone with straight up brick break instead of dig. Uh, okay, not my bright idea, but um See I'm making a few mistakes already, so not serious mistakes where I pay the price very dearly. But um, mistakes where um, they're not extreme, but they could lead to severe backlash. And because I'm scared you're going to use self-destruct, I'm going to go with dig. Magnitude. Oh, no. No, no, no. Come on, go on. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. Priority move, do you? Brick break. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Right. Um. So there was almost a consequence for ignorance here. Um. I almost lost Koron. Oh god, I, I'm shaking now. <laughs> I'm actually shaking. Um, I did not. I was not ready to risk losing Koron. Oh god, Koron's probably one of the most imp vital members on my team at the moment, and to lose him would have been would have sucked. Okay, put Inferno up in front. Koron, you can take a bit of a rest. Uh, I think you deserve the rest. Oh. I think that's going to be something where um, I'm not going to get over. Because, um, oh god, I am still shaking from that. And I was scared I was going to lose Koron. Koron and Ferno are, no offence to Puppy, Coron and Inferno are my two most important Pokemon at the moment. Because Inferno is obviously my starter, and he's the only priority I have over Coron. Um, but Coron was the... is kind of like the um, whole muscle behind the whole team. Like, he can take a hit at... well, <laughs> kinda. Yeah, 
it's been shown, he can take a hit and dish a very powerful one back. Um, however, though, uh, if to lose him, then Puppy will need to take up the reins of being the one to rely on. Not to mention, that would have been a waste of a Brick Break and Dig TM. And also a waste of a Moonstone. Um, but the Moonstone is the least of my concerns. I don't plan on... I don't really want to use any of the other Moonstone evolutions. Um, but... I would have been really upset to lose Koron, especially a couple episodes after I got him. Um... Obviously, I can imagine my rival Lucas not really minding if he goes down, because I'd imagine for Lucas, as he's, um, well, as I named him after the rival, he would want me to lose or something. Obviously, I would, I would hope he doesn't want that, but I can imagine that being the case. Right, okay, so after that near miss, um... Ah, oh, finally. Pokemon that Ferno can deal with. There you are, Ferno. Just use Ember. There we are. <laughs> Relaxation now. <laughs> okay, and that. Level 26, that's good. So let's use Rock Slide. Let's, let's keep Koron out of the battle for now. Uh, we don't need Goron right now, do we? <laughs> don't you do oh. oh, thank god. Yeah, keep missing. Keep missing the same. You don't miss the rock side. You, you're good with the rock side. You keep going. Yeah, there we are. Okay, uh, moving on. Okay, next Picnica. <sighs> I don't... I think that near miss with Goron is a warning to me that I need to be more careful with what I do because I almost paid the ultimate price for saying a couple minutes before that that I'm going to take more risks well that has gone out the window I'm not even thinking about taking risks now I am training up these Pokemon to where I'm confident they can beat every battle and I do not care what you have to say. <laughs> um, if that makes the whole thing boring, I'm sorry. You do a Nuzlocke then. Um, <laughs> I don't want to risk losing my Pokemon. Uh, especially one as important as Koron. Um, but yeah, that was definitely a wake-up call I needed. And I'm glad I didn't have to pay a serious consequence for that. I'm hoping with the when Lucas sees this video, he'll be messaging me uh, how he think the video went, and whether he's happy I survived, I was able to keep Koron, or if I was able to lose him, or if I should have lost him. But well, Fern, I took care of the whole battle. Well done. Um, but yeah, that was terrifying. A pearl, yes, more money. <laughs> Okay, uh, we'll have um, Hawkeye out in front now. I'm keep I'm gonna give Corn a bit of a break because I think he's been through enough at the moment. <laughs> okay. Um. So next time you see my team, I may have it changed up a bit. Like I may have different Pokemon out because I'm training them up ready for the next gym or for the obstacles ahead. I may need them. But they will be around um, my, this team's level at the moment. So, a bit of training for me to do, but it's alright. Um, however, that does mean there'll be some days where a Nuzlocke video won't come up. But on the other hand, there may be some days where they do come up, but there'll be seriously under level Pokemon. So, you may see. Uh, the next video with um, the same team you may see tomorrow's video with the same team but um, I am going to be swapping out some of my Pokemon to complement the gym leader more that way I don't need to rely on one or two specific Pokemon instead I can rely on half my team or better my entire team 
Um, I'm hoping this is the last battle before the end of Rock Tunnel because I don't think it'll take me 30 minutes to get through Rock Tunnel. Um, but yeah, my entire team has gone up at least a level now, except for Mike. But Mike is helping out a lot with Flash. Uh, please. Okay, okay, that's the exit. So, no? Mm, okay. The item finder probably would have helped here, but of course, right before that. There are monkeys in here? Okay, well, I'll get a free KO, I guess. I didn't even know there are monkeys in here. Hmm, learn something new every day. Okay, we're just gonna leave. Uh, let's maneuver our way around these trainers carefully. Okay. Um, we'll go up and battle these uh, trainers in the future, in the next video. But, um, I'm still a bit shaken up from almost losing Koron. And very fittingly, <laughs> it is of course in Lav it's, it's of course in the place right next to Lavender Town. Next to the Pokemon Tower. Um... So, that's all for this time. If you like what you saw, leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe. Press the notification bell down comment below. Thank God Koron is still with us and not joining the tower. And until then, I'll see you next time. Gotta catch a ball.